Hey everyone, Marcel here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, today I am sharing an adaptation of a previously posted recipe. I am gonna show you how to make air fryer blueberry bagels. These are so easy and just super delicious. Um, this is of course an adaptation of my easy two ingredient bagel recipe that I shared about back in July of last year. Um, but just changing it up with a little fruit mixed in. We've just enjoyed it so much. We love it for breakfast with cream cheese. Um, anyhow guys, let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you what we need to make a batch of these. Let's get started. Okay guys, so this starts off just like the original recipe with two ingredients, okay? This is one and one third cup of self-rising flour. And then here's one cup of plain Greek yogurt. Okay, unsweetened, just plain yogurt. And so here's what I add in to convert these into some tasty blueberry bagels. I actually do add a little sugar to this recipe. Um, this is two tablespoons of regular sugar. Now, normally I will add my favorite um, non-sugar sweetener, but I am totally out of it. So I'm adding in just a little regular sugar today. Um, but if you wanna use a non-sugar sweetener, just add it in and the same amount, two tablespoons. This is a half cup of fresh, beautiful blueberries. So we are going to be just, after we get the dough together, we are going to be folding these in. Now, a little later on, uh, I have just some extra flour here for when I put these out on the surface to work with them, or put the dough out on the surface to work with them, sorry. And then here's one large egg, and I'm going to whip it up with some water for an egg wash later on down the line. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead. Get to mixing guys all right so we're gonna go ahead and put the sugar in go ahead and mix it in with the flour and the sugar really is an optional ingredient you, you don't need it I just like to add a little sweetness to this because of the fruit um, but that's it okay for the dry ingredients now we're just going in with our full cup of yogurt and it's gonna take us a few minutes to work this all in but We'll have a very shaggy dough here in just a couple of minutes. Okay guys, so our dough has come together. It's, you know, not very smooth right now, but that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do, this is the messy, the messy fun part, okay? We are going to press these blueberries into this, this two ingredient dough, okay? Um, some of the berries are gonna burst. You're gonna get these lovely purple streaks all through the bagels, but it gives them character and makes them look really, really pretty. All right, so here we go. And you're just gonna have to work with it, guys. Just press them in as well as you can. You know, don't be real, you know, <laughs> violent. You know, you can gently press them in to tr avoid breaking some of them. Um, but many of them will burst into this. See, it's already starting a little bit and that's okay. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just flour my surface here to work with these because the berries did add quite a bit of extra moisture into the dough. And then I'm um, just gonna kind of turn this out onto it. I've got my blueberries nice and pretty evenly distributed through this. So we're just gonna make it into a disc. I'm just gonna kind of coat the outside with flour because like I said, the berries added a lot of moisture to the dough. So we're just gonna kind of pat it into I guess about a five to six inch disc. And then we're gonna cut it into four equal parts. And I'm just using, you know, just a regular kitchen knife today, just a little butter knife. All right, so now I'm gonna make this more like a 
circle like a disc and just like with the other plain ones we're going to put a little hole in the center I have my air fryer basket off to the side here already greased with some nonstick cooking spray yeah it's just got a lot more moisture in it because of those berries so you're just gonna have to work when you're shaping these but that looks good to me. So just gonna set it off to the side here, my greased air fryer basket. I'm gonna do the exact same for these other three bagels. And then I will meet you back here when I start them cooking. Okay guys, so here are the bagels and they've just been kind of resting in my greased air fryer basket for a couple of minutes while I whipped up my egg wash. Um, I basically just whipped that one egg and added a teaspoon of water for my egg wash. But we're gonna go ahead and go over the tops of them now so that they get that nice, those nice golden brown tops as they cook. Okay y'all, so I've got my air fryer set at 400 degrees. Here are the bagels with the egg wash on top. And we are gonna go ahead and set this timer for eight minutes. Um, if they didn't have the fruit mixed in, they would cook perfectly in seven minutes. But we're gonna go ahead and set these for eight um, and then we'll check them. The fruit uh, adds so much moisture that they will not need a couple minutes extra cook time, but we'll just keep an eye on them. All right. Let's get them started. We'll check on them here in a little bit. Okay, guys, so this is what they look like after eight minutes. You can hear the fruit <laughs> kind of sizzling in there. All right, so I'm going to set this off to the side real quick. And I know they are a lot of hot. Uh, but truthfully, just to uh, make sure they're done in the middle. I'm gonna pop them back in there for one more minute for a total of nine minutes, and then we'll cut into them and see what they look like. Okay guys, so after nine minutes of cook time, let's see what we have. Let's see. Ooh, they are screaming hot. And set it here. Yeah, well, I definitely didn't form a circle, <laughs> but they are going to be delicious, guys, no matter what. I'm going to go find some cream cheese. Okay guys, well that was it. They are so easy and so good. It is just an amazing feeling to have these fresh air fryer bagels for breakfast or really any time of the day. Like I'm about to have one right now for an afternoon snack. Um, but I do hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you share it with any of your family and friends who also love it. Please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up on the way out if you enjoyed this video. Um, Hope everyone is having a happy, safe, and healthy new year so far. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.